Hey guys, the Google Pixel 2 has been released just a few weeks ago, and today we'll be talking just about that. Stay tuned! Now the Pixel 2 is Google's answer to Apple's iPhone 10. It has flagship features of 2017, but its design isn't as much. Today we'll talk about that. Now before I continue with the video, I just want to say that this video will be separated into four sections. That would be the design, the display, the performance, and the price. Now starting off with the design, I wouldn't pretty much consider this as some flagship phone of 2017 design since it still has those pretty much ugly bezels even on the XL. Now I really hate those bezels but if you're that kind of person who loves bezels then probably this phone is for you. Now they have different colors and the other colors has that geared sleep or wake button color accent thing to it. I, I don't really know what it is but I do hate it. Now of course there's that just black option but still. Now that for that large chin and that large forehead of the Pixel 2, I'd say it isn't much wasted space compared to the first generation Pixel because it has dual front-facing speakers. Although the iPhone 7 had that last year, it just had one front-facing speaker and one bottom-facing speaker, so it's still pretty much useful. Now that is it with the design. Moving on to the display, the Pixel 2 has an AMOLED display of 1080. If the resolution isn't that good for you, then you can go with the Pixel 2 XL, which has a higher resolution and and it's a P-OLED display. Now one of the new features that Google added is an always-on display. Now doesn't that sound familiar? Sounds <laughs> so. But regardless, I do love that always-on display. It does feature a now playing option. So example, you're in a coffee shop sitting down with your Pixel 2 and just drinking coffee and you hear a beautiful song playing. It will immediately recognize on your Pixel 2 locally so you will be able to know what song is playing in the coffee shop through your always-on display. Now in terms of performance, the Pixel 2 is actually pretty amazing. It has a Snapdragon 835 processor with 4GB of RAM. Now the camera is one of the best, actually as of now, it is the best camera rated on DxO marks. Now this is actually pretty amazing. It has now killed the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus in terms of DxO marks rating. But I wouldn't actually rely on DxO marks as much as possible because this is just one company rating all these phones. So it's not that accurate, but based on the user reviews, the camera is actually amazing. Now this camera has 12.2 megapixels with an aperture of 1.8 and the front facing camera has 8 megapixels with an aperture of 2.4. Now they do have a single camera on both sizes. Google is saying they don't need dual cameras, but let's wait until next year because last year they did say that they needed a headphone jack but now they removed it but with this single camera they can still achieve bokeh effects or portrait mode actually they do call this portrait mode so they just literally ripped off apple's feature but who cares anyways so they can achieve this by using a feature they call dual pixel it uses multiple information and gathers it to achieve bokeh effects or portrait mode now that's it for the performance now comes the price the Pixel 2 cost around $649 and the Pixel 2 XL cost $849. Now this is actually surprising because Samsung and Apple has their ultra premium flagship prices which is around $930 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the upcoming iPhone 10, which costs $1,000. Now whether it's worth it or not, I would say there are pretty much other better options, but if the Google Pixel and the stock Android experience is important to you, then go ahead and get the Google Pixel. Now that's about it, and if you like this video, you know how the like button works, and if you didn't, go ahead and dislike it. It would be great if you could subscribe though. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.